أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students, how is the Ramadan? May Allah accept it as an act of ibadah from us. Amen. Today, inshallah, we want to look at the first topic in the scheme of work for the third term, which is set. Under this topic, we want to look at the definition of set, set notation, and the types of set. Now before we go, let us look at the definition of a set. A set is a collection of well-defined objects. The members or elements in a set must have a unique characteristics that can help to distinguish them from any other elements outside the group or set. E.g. a set of mathematical instruments like roller, divider, protractor, 45 degree set square, 60 degree set square, and so on. When we say set, if you go to the market, maybe to buy a set of home theater, this home theater consists of the loudspeaker, the remote control, the capacitor that is inside it, and many other things. Or, as I've made the example, if you buy a mathematical set, inside the box, you are going to see ruler, pencil, divider, protractor, compass, eraser, and so on. So these are the examples of what a set is. Now, let us look at set notation. The elements of a set can be given in four different ways. One, diagrams. Two, word description. Three, listing all the elements. Four, setting a rule. These are the four elements of set in which tells us how you can identify a set or how you can describe a set. So the symbol used for enclosing the elements of a set is curly brackets, as you have seen. And the set is denoted by capital letters, such as A, B, C, and so on. One, let us look at set by diagrams. This is to use diagram to represent a set, e.g. set of mathematical sets. Now we are using a circle to describe the set. We are using a circle as a diagram 
So inside the circle, you are going to see 45 degrees set square, 60 degrees set square, you will see a razor blade there and many other things. So this is what the mathematical set contains. So in this case, we can use a diagram in order to represent a set. Secondly, set by word description. Set by word description. This is to use words to explain the elements of the set. Example. Describe the number of boys in a school. Describe the number of boys in a school. A is equal to, you will see the curly brackets there. Inside the curly bracket is all boys in the school. So we have used diagram or we have used description in order to represent the number of boys in a school. Another one is write the first five alphabets. Write the first five alphabets. So the set is B. So you are going to write a curly bracket there and write inside the first five alphabets like A, B, C, D, E. Now, set number three, set by listing the elements, set by listing the elements. In this case, this is the listing all the elements in the brackets listing all the elements in the brackets. For example, write the first three female students in your class. We use capital A for the sets. Then the names are Hadiza, Khoiro, Fatia. Let us look at another one. Write down the multiples of 3 between 1 and 10 by set listing. Now we are using B to represent the set. And inside the set, the element inside the set is 3. Six, nine. All these numbers are the multiples of three between one and ten. But before we go, what is inside the bracket are what to call the elements. At times we can call them the members of a set. We can call them elements or the members of a set. Now number four. Set by stating a rule or we can say set builder notation. This method uses curly brackets a variable and a sentence e.g. 
express the following set builder notation. The first one is odd number less than 10. Odd numbers less than 10. The second one is even numbers greater than 0 and less or equal to 11. Now, we are using sentences in order to express it. We are using sentences in order to, is, to express it and variables. The third one is factors of 12. Factors of 12. But if we want to express it in a set form, the first one is Odd number less than 10. Odd number less than 10. Now we are using A in order to express the set. Now it will be equal to, you write a curly bracket. Now you now say Y in such a way that Y is an odd number that is zero is less than y and y is less than 10 and you close the curly bracket now that column there between the two y's is such that that is y is such that y is an odd number that is 0 is less than y and y is less than 10. The second one that is even number greater than 0 and less or equal to 11. Here we are using B to represent the set, capital B. We use capital letters to represent a set. But all the elements inside the set will be in small letters. Now, the set B is equal to X in such that X is an even number, that is, Y is less than X, less or equal to 11. 1 is less than X, X is less or equal to 11. Now, it means that these numbers, the even numbers, should fall between 1 to 11. Between 1 to 11. The last one on this is factors of 12. Factors of 12. Now, we are using C to represent the set that is capital C, which is equal to T is such that T is a factor of 12. At this point in time, students, you should note that the set is written in capital letters why the elements are written in small letters like b is an element of set of s is written as b that is small b is what is an element or a member of set s 
But that set, other S, will be written in what? In capital letters. So students, I hope we have done much for today. So before we go, what have we done so far? What we have done so far is that we have looked into the definition of sex. We have looked into the definition of sex. That is, we said that a sex is a collection of well-defined objects. As we'll mention, example is a mathematical set. Inside the mathematical set, you can see divider there, you will see ruler, you will see pencil, you will see razor, you will see compass, and so on and so forth. Secondly, we look at set notation. We mentioned that we can use four things in order to represent set notation. We mentioned that we can use diagram, word descriptions, listing all the elements, and stating a rule. So students, I hope we have done much for today. So, the assignment that I'm going to give you is stated below. It's in form of class work. But I want you to attempt all the questions. The question is, write the members of all the sets. Write the members of all the sets. A. The set of even numbers between 1 and 11. B. The set of English vowels. The set of English vowels. C. The set of odd numbers between 0 and 10. The set of odd numbers between 0 and 10. D. The set of counting numbers less than 10. The set of counting numbers less than 7. E. The set of four subjects on the school timetable. The set of four subjects on the school timetable. So after doing this, you can go to your textbooks. You can use New General Mathematics for Senior Secondary School Book 1 and uh, Man Mathematics for Senior Secondary School Book 1. You are going to see the introduction there. Attempt all the questions there. So if you have any problem, you will let us know. Inshallah, and inshallah we are going to solve the problems together. So students, try as much as possible to attempt all these questions and the one inside those textbooks that I've mentioned. So till next time that I'm going to meet you again, have a good day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.